and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some sit back burn. This is going to be our next deck for meme tier Monday. This is, you know, a burn style deck, right? Like we have some things. It's kind of like the gangplank burn deck that we played the other day. But it's also just a slower deck where we can just kind of sit back and watch them burn. And the main card with that is City Breaker. We got uh, three City Breakers. Um, that This is a card that, you know, we just play it, pass the turn, they take a damage, we'll get our turn back, you know, get another damage, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, keep passing the turns. Um, and, you know, we got a good amount of spells here with the Death's Hand, the Noxian Fervors, things like that, Monkey Idols. Each turn will just make a Powder Monkey. And then a turn that powder monkey's burning them. So nice slow burn deck. We got the Swains that really reward us for having a City Breaker. Because whenever we have a leveled up Swain, then you know uh you know the combo with Swain Leviathan basically already. And so the, that same combo is City Breaker. They take one from the City Breaker, stun, uh, and then that will stun the strongest enemy. Um And then of course we have Leviathan, same thing as city breaker it's just triple city breaker you know round start do one to the enemy nexus three times so you know we can just sit back let leviathan and city breaker just burn them down um yeah and then we're just kind of supplementing it with some other burn stuff and that's our deck sit back burn all right so we're going to um hey maximus um gonna go ahead and play it in normal like we do for our meme tier monday decks and uh, we'll just kind of sit back and burn. Let's get rid of these spray fins. Do I want a mulligan Swain also? No, I'll, I'll keep Swain. We'll keep Swain. Try to get some earlier cards. Eh, not exactly earlier cards. To play. But even if we don't play anything turn one or turn two, we can just save the three spell mana to be able to use with an auction fervor later on. I'm not going to play Demolitionist on turn two. I will play Crimson Cycle on turn two. So we will do that. That one's a reasonable turn two play. Um... I think we'll just, let's just start by attacking. Monkey Idol uses my mana the best, but I'm gonna go with Demolitionist and have Transfusion still. I don't know, that's a lot of untapped mana they got going on over there. I'll just play the Grenadier and save Transfusion and not risk anything with Demolitionist. I'm not greedy, my friends though. All right, let's get some monkeys. Powder monkeys. Ooh. Hmm. Glory, courage, and excuses for war. So we're only at two out of twelve so far. What did two damage? Wait, how are we even at two out of twelve? What what did the two non-combat damage? Because I thought we just attacked him for two, right? This is the first powder monkey, as far as I know. Oh, the monkey idol took two. Right, 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 right. Right, the monkey idol took two. Uh, you know, deal two to me and summon a powder monkey. So that's how it took two. Okay, right. My bad. Okay, a little slow over here. <laughs> My bad. Alright, I'm... We're getting there. Alright, so 5 out of 7. Noxion Fervor does 6, so that would be 11. 
Um, if we Noxion Fervor the Powder Monkey, that will also deal one, so that could be seven. So we could level up Swain by just casting a Noxion Fervor Powder Monkey, assuming my opponent doesn't kill the Powder Monkey in response and that the Noxion Fervor resolves and everything like that. Assuming all those things. War Mason, reporting for duty. Bestow upon them the gifts of our empire. Make the empire proud. <laughs> okay, so now we can have leveled up Swain at burst speed by just casting Transfusion. I don't know. Is it Legion Grenadier? Yeah, right. This I do like this Noxus board with the music. And even just the board, it looks kind of plain, but it's kind of cool. Of like, it's like the I don't know, like the sands of the Colosseum or something like that. Okay, let's go with Noxion Fervor Powder Monkey upstairs. Victory at any cost. Victory awaits. Such little love. They're basically dead. Basically. The few for the many. Noxus can do a bunch of damage. Man, Noxus really can do a bunch of damage. So like if I if I do this transfusion the powder monkey then we do a damage that thing can't block yeah. Well, our deck looked really strong there that game. That monkey idol, monkey idol, pretty cool with Swain. That does that does completely level up Swain, right? Because it it does two damage to itself, makes a powder monkey that does one. You know, like it levels up Swain super fast. I like that powder monkey with Swain. That's a cool combo. Believe the patch notes should come out tomorrow tomorrow we'll get rid of the transfusion don't think we'll need that keeping these death hands to deal with teemos we're playing against like a teemo wayfinder deck now similar to what we just played um i guess we'll do i guess we'll kill that on turn three i was thinking about not playing precious pet turn one and then it, Turn two, we'd have three mana to Death Sand the Teemo. But since we're attacking turn two, and like if they were attacking turn two, I'd probably want to stop it from attacking. But since they're attacking turn three, we can just. We're going to stop that turn one attack either way. We can just do this and, you know, get aggressive, and then uh, turn three still have that. Monkey Idol hits itself for five, so yeah. Uh, even though the, the the third time it says deal two, but it only has one health, so it only counts as one. So yeah, it does eight out of twelve just by itself for uh, Swainers. Alright, got our eight drops. Night falls. Victory 
Yeah, now all we need to do is combine puff caps in this deck somehow and have our opponent start drawing puff caps to have even more damage. First Wayne. It's probably just going monkey idle this turn. Yeah, we can try testing it. Um, I think by the time the third turn is for the Monkey Idol, we'll already have a leveled up Swain, so we won't be able to really see. City Breaker. That is our sit back card for our sit back burn deck. Ooh. Another day in the field. Key Guardian, Can the Teemo. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I, I kind of feel like it's better to play the Monkey Idol over the City Breaker because the Monkey Idol has, you know, it doesn't just do stuff all the time. More for my collection. <laughs> It has limited use. It's a bad attack. Should not be attacking there. Alright, because I'm going to be going straight to attacks with these Powder Monkeys. Dang. This is 8 damage if they don't block or don't have any spells. I couldn't kill Teemo. Teemo had a barrier on it. It may have been hard to see. They, they Key Guardian the Teemo. So Teemo had a barrier. I could have not cast it and wait till this turn and cast it on Teemo, um, but I decided to go with the aggressive line. All right, so we have to get one more point of damage somehow. It's like a transfusion would be perfect. A death hand, a noxion fervor. Because this Powder Monkey is going to put them down to two. The City Breaker will put them to... Oh, no. Well, that's... That could win my opponent the game right there. That honestly could. I'm just not going to play that thing. No puff caps. I love the smell of mushrooms in the morning. Yeah, because now all I need to do is draw six. Well, that's still going to be difficult to draw six. You puff caps, that is. Fighting, you, could step aside. you cannot tell the wind to change direction. Yeah, everybody knows that. You cannot change the wind to... to yeah. Tell the wind. Yeah, they need us. They need us to draw six puff caps, which I guess we're not likely going to draw six puff caps. It's not very likely we're drawing six buff caps. So should we go Riptide Rex or Leviathan next turn? Oh, 
Oh, it's so close. We drew four. 29 out of 54 when we drew four. That's not good. That's twice. Like, we drew like five earlier when we didn't have that many, and now we drew four. That's twice we drew a bunch. Um, yeah, Mystic Shot kills us. Can't really stop the Mystic Shots. So... Ooh, so close, no Mystic Shot. Thankfully, that was very close. Alright, Riptide. Puff Caps are definitely a sit back burn. Can we combine Puff Caps with City Breaker? That's, that's the ultimate sit back. Yeah, I, I don't um it's it's hard it's hard to it's hard to have like a great recommendation on on what to play. I mean the um the gosh, I cannot think. Okay, the mid-range frostbite. I don't know why I cannot think of mid-range frostbite. The mid-range frostbite deck is the best deck. Now, I don't know if it's the best deck against Ezreal Karma, because you do have some cards. Like, I think I think you're favored there, but I don't know if it's just the best deck against it, because you do have some cards, mostly the um, Frostbite cards, that are not going to be good in that matchup. Uh, I do. I think Demacia decks are good against um, Ezreal Karma. I would probably recommend the, the Zed Shen deck. I think that deck's good against Ezreal Karma. That one should be pretty good against Ezreal Karma. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I played against Ezreal Karma towards the end of this video. If you want to watch me uh, play that matchup and how I how I played it. And what I mulliganed and stuff like that. Feel free to check that out. Do I want to play Monkey Idol or Noxion Fervor? Noxion Fervor would be one less level up for Ezreal. But of course, Noxion Fervor can kill Ezreal. I'm going to hold on to the Fervor. Hey, Dio. It's a good draw. Get us another Noxion Fervor. Now we'll make it rain. Let me show you what I can do. We're at 7 out of 12 now for Swain. This will be 8. We'll be able to see... We'll probably be able to see, like, what... You know, like, if Monkey Idol only gives you 1 or 2 for this. I believe it'll just be 1, because there's 1 health, even though it says deal 2. So I think it'll only be 1 towards Swain. But we'll be able to, you know, see it for science exactly what's going to happen. So that's always good. Nope, never mind. Not going to be able to see for science. I'm just going to let that happen. The thing's going to be dying anyway. Well, I don't know. I could fervor. Honestly, I kind of want to just go make it rain twice. And kill Shadow Assassin with two, ma with two make it rains. Make it 
Mega Rain is not that good of a card. Okay, overkill damage does count as progress for Swain. Okay, so then, yeah, so then I would do the extra two. Now Swain's perfectly leveled up. They're at six. I was expecting some kind of removal for those things, but happy not to see any removal. That's pretty good. Of course, the Transfusion plus the Crimson Disciple. Hmm. Wait, do I? Okay, so that's three, that's two. I don't want to just go for the win. Fear the power you do not see. They could definitely just have the health potion. And it wouldn't even be going for the win, I'd be just, just be doing five damage. I think it's a good chance that Swain gets stunned. But maybe not. They've already used one Concussive Palm. Cool. Kill that. Stun Karma. They have a lot of work to do to stay alive. A lot of work to do to stay alive. It's not going to do it. Such little lives. Stealing seven. Witness Get him, Swain. Okay, three and oh. History will remember. Beating Karma Ezreal there. GG's. This deck could be pretty good against Karma Ezreal, potentially. Oh, their hand wasn't perfect. Hey, Potato. Again, more and more regulars here in the chat. That's awesome. Y'all are y'all are amazing. I'm, you know, recognizing more and more viewers in the chat. Do we want to keep the City Breaker? Like, I kind of want to just keep City Breaker because we're like a cool City Breaker deck. Honestly, we probably should be mulliganing City Breaker, but I'm not about that life. We're, it's meme tier Monday. We're playing sit back burn. I'm keeping my City Breaker. Oh, uh, that's a good card. Stop my Legion Grenadier. I mean, I, I suppose I have this Mega Rain that we can just use to get rid of that. Now, I kind of have to play Make It Rain this turn and not Grenadier. Because if I play Grenadier this turn, let's say they do nothing, right? The next turn I do Mega Rain to kill this before attackers. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely doing it. Cause then, cause then they'll have enough mana like where they'll have like these things die and they'll have four mana and then they'll be able to just play Remembrance. And so Remembrance super scary. So gotta do Make It Rain right now so they don't just have Remembrance later. All right, so they have two spells that cost six plus and they're from regions that are not Demacia. Currently in hand. Coming in hot. All right, we're coming in hot. Will you comply? 
Or are you complicit? Investigating. A worthy end. Yeah, that was a that was a worthy end for the Legion Grenadier. Ooh, City Breaker. Let's go. Let's sit on back. Take one. Take two. Maybe they'll unyielding spear at my city breaker. What do y'all think the chances are of that happening? Probably not much chance of that happening. City Breaker! Boo. has two health for the death sand. We'll sit back. Nine more turns. Uh, obviously, we don't want them to play Radiant Guardian, and so, like, this is kind of awkward of, like, if I death sand the Heimerdinger and kill it, then they could just go Radiant Guardian. That would be a nightmare. So we have to figure out how to... How to kill Heimerdinger, but also not how to turn on Radiant Guardian. Not the easiest. Whew. Good thing I didn't kill Heimerdinger in response. Sit back and watch a burn. GG's. I wasn't going to even kill Heimerdinger. I was going to target the 6-1 Overwhelm with the Death Sand. Figuring, figuring Heimerdinger is not going to kill us fast enough. Just get rid of that 6-1 Overwhelm. That's the thing that could kill us fast enough. Yeah, we're just going to sit back and watch those City Breakers go. City Breaker can attack. We could we could attack and then transfusion and pump up City Breaker for like the lethal two damage. That would have been cool. All right, I guess I keep everything. Keep it all. Keep it all. Camera needs to be refreshed. Okay, there you go. Camera refreshed. I, I changed the settings thing, so hopefully the camera isn't really lagging like it was before. Hopefully. Uh, this is probably... To be honest, this is not a good City Breaker matchup, like where they're going to be Demacia and attacking me with a bunch of big things. Like, because, you know, like we won't have really the time for City Breaker. So, in a normal game, I think that mulliganing City Breaker would be... Would be very... Uh, wise, but we're not going to do that. So I was worried about them. So like d this definitely looked like the elite deck, and so I was thinking that they could, their turn two could like their best turn two is, um, you know, whatever the, the guy's name is, the elite lord, the two mana two two that gives their other elites plus one plus one whenever they play them. And so if that was going to be their play, was going to be that thing, then I wanted to pressure them more. And so that's why I played protect these woods as they protect us. that thing. Uh, we're just going to take four. He smells something. Ready, boy. Yeah, that's true. That City Breaker not good against Challenger either. Battlesmith. That's the name of it. The finest Demossian steel. There it is right there. 
with the finest Demacian steel. Or something like that. If they go barrier, I'll go make it rain. So very possible the City Breaker will be too slow. We'll find out. But we got double City Breaker. We got double Demolitionist. We got some stuff. Rough, rough. Let's go. You may think that, oh, well, City Breaker's doing one a turn. It's, it's kind of like City Breaker's doing two damage a turn. Um, you know, Two damage like a turn cycle like between them attacking why would why would this warden not attack the first time also what's the point of that City Breaker, the new Boom Crew rookie. <laughs> Basically. Um, okay, so this is going to do... If they don't break, they'll burn. Let's do this. For the glory of Nexus. Cool. No single combat. I can attack here. That's one, so that puts him to seven. This is six. This is five. Basically, I'm debating, like, do I Noxion Fervor and kill this thing and just do three to them with the Noxion Fervor? Um, that would put them down to four, where Demolitionist would be lethal. Or do I just let this happen and just play Demolitionist? And hold the Noxion Fervor for afterwards. Um... Yeah, our decks are doing good. We, we aren't playing ranked. We're playing normal, and that, that definitely helps our win record. Uh, we're going to go with this route. With this thing that we already know is dying. Cool. Gotta sit back, watch it burn. War Mason, reporting for duty. Black powder grenade. You for the many. Got him. <laughs> sit back, watch it burn. Uh, zero decimate, some, I think, right? Yeah, we ain't playing decimate. Uh, replace decimate with sprayfin. And we only drew the sprayfin one time, but it was awesome against that Karma Ezreal deck. So that was definitely a definitely an upgrade um, over decimate. But yeah, there we go. Didn't get to really Leviathan. We were killing him too fast. Uh, but, you know, we do have Leviathan Swain stuff for the slower games. Um, and, yeah, we were just getting our, getting our burn in and just sitting back. Letting our powder monkeys and our city breakers do some work. You know, all we have to do is just stay alive long enough for the burn damage to take over. Five win dream. Yeah, functional meme deck here. All right, cool. Um, there we go. Yeah, there's meme tier Monday at its finest. Um, yeah, nothing really to change here. Swain looked good. We leveled up Swain pretty fast with our different stuff. Um, and it, it worked out pretty well. We didn't even, like game one, we just like Crimson Disciple kind of dominated, but that was about it for Crimson Disciple. So even like the, you know, maybe the argue, arguably the strongest card in our deck, we really didn't use for most of those games. So there we go. Play this deck while you can before it gets nerfed. Because <laughs> 
Uh, these cards, Disciple, Demolitionist, Grenadier, these are most likely getting nerfed uh, in just a couple of days. So, um, there we go. All right, uh, that's it here for Sit Back Burn. Our next, our, uh, next Meme Tier Monday deck, we got two more to go. We got Yeti's Legacy. We're going to be combining Iceborne Legacy with Enraged Yeti and then a fearsome pursuit tech after that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching some sit back burn and I'll see you for the next video.